Yo, what's up guys, so Boxing Legends back with another video today. In this video guys, today we're literally going to be doing something pretty interesting and actually this could actually make half of you guys games like more fun and more interesting and more engaging. And there's like a lot of other action tips I could be like saying right now, but yeah, anyways, let's start now. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to how to set an automatic lamp in your Roblox game that basically like turns on when it's nighttime and turns off when it's daytime. And also we're going to be like just making it like time changes too during the game because like why not let's do it let's put like a time change in the game too so like we can see the light turn on and off you can see what happens in action so anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our part first and let's say this is our light right yes i know i'm i'm trying to make a street light but this is how it looks guys it's, it's, it's very nice i know like look at this really small very bright very low hopefully it's gonna do something but now what i want to do is i want to add a spotlight to it Actually, I'm going to add a point light. And how about we make it nighttime right now so we can see what we're doing, okay? So, we're going to make the light like match the color. You guys could do that if you want. It's optional, but I'm just designing my part a bit. So, let's make it, let's make the brightness like 3. Let's make the bright, the range 15. And this looks pretty realistic. Anyways, you could make it neon or not if you want because we're going to do that in the script anyways. But let's go add a script to service, script to service. Let's add a normal script and let's declare two variables. One variable will be getting the service. The other one will be like literally declaring the part. And let's start now. We're going to type local lighting equals to game call. Oh, I mean equals to game colon get service. I mean, get service like this. And we're going to be getting the lighting. Okay, so we're going to put the quotation marks and we're going to type lighting just like that. Now let's hit one arrow right. Let's declare our second variable now. We're going to be typing local lamp equals to, and in order to get the part, we're going to type game.workspace, and then your part name, but mine's I just kept the name as part, so it's just like this. Now, those are our two variables. Let's skip like one line, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make another variable for current time, and then we're going to put an infinite loop after that basically like, it basically changes the part around, and like it keeps it going like with the while true loop, the infinite loop. So I'm gonna type local current time. Damn, I cannot type today. But this is how you spell current time. Equals to four. You can put any time you want, but I'm gonna put 4 a.m. Or in fact, let's put it 19. And the reason why I put 19 is because if you put something like, let's say 9 p.m., it's not gonna find out because this Roblox system does not support like a.m. and p.m. So everything's gonna be in military time. And if you don't know how to convert like 12 hours to 24 hour, then I highly suggest searching up or something. But anyways, 19, we're going to put it as, as 19 and let's see if I could do the math. What time is it? It's going to be 7 p.m. basically. And I guess we could say that's around like nighttime sunset. We can make the light turn on around there. And now after that, let's hit enter. And this is when our infinite loop comes into place. We're going to type while true, do, then hit enter lighting dot clock time so now we're connecting we're connecting light and the clock time it's going to be over here we're connecting it to the time so we're going to type lighting dot clock time equals to current time because this is like when we're starting the time it's going to start at like 7 p.m basically and now let's hit enter let's put let's skip one line actually and we're going to put an if else statement and this if else statement basically customizes a part so we could say that when it's nighttime, then we could make the part material neon. And then we could put, we could also make it like when it's daytime, we could make the part plastic and like we could turn off the point light. Like we're going to, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. Right, let's start typing now. So we're going to type if parentheses current time. So that's this. We're going to like just connect it to the time of day. We're going to type if current time is greater than or equal to, how about we put seven and then we're gonna type n current time and by the way guys we're talking about when it's like daytime so this is what i'm doing so i'm gonna type current time we could say less than or equal to what's a good time for this to start how about 21 which is 9 p.m i think it's like a bit late but whatever we could see like it take action so let's say this is like daytime right we could type then and obviously, just think about it. When you're outside hanging out with your friends or playing basketball, 
you don't see any street lights on when there's like pitch sun you guys are just like burning more fossil fuels if you do that so that's why the government doesn't do that so let's just act like the government today and let's turn off the light when it's daytime so we're gonna type part dot material i mean lamp my bad because that's our variable we put a variable to connect it to the part so we're gonna type lamp dot material equals to enum dot material and then how about we make it I didn't know there was a thing called air, but we could do plastic, I guess. Let's hit enter again. And how about we turn off the point light too? So we're gonna type lamp dot point light. So we're connecting to this. And then dot enabled equals to false because obviously light stayed on in the daytime. And then after after we type false, let's hit enter. I'm gonna type else, then hit enter. We're gonna type lamp dot material, and this is when we turn on the light now. So obviously we're gonna put, change the material to we're gonna change it to neon, so they could see like an effect. Because obviously when you're outside and you could see like if you look at the light, you could see that it's kind of like glowing, I guess. But I highly advise you guys not to stare at it all day, or else you're probably gonna lose your eyesight. Because lights are very bright; they're meant for cars more than persons, kind of, in my opinion. So we're gonna type enum.material dot neon to make it bright and then we're gonna turn on the point light too so we're gonna type lamp dot point light dot enable equals to true because we want it on enable true that means it's on but enable false that's off and then now you see after the end over here let's hit enter let's skip one line we're gonna be adding like an in we're gonna increase the value that's what we're gonna do so basically we're gonna type current time E I mean plus equal to point zero point zero one, or you could type point zero one two. So note that this is inside the while true loop. So everything keeps on going forever. So we're gonna like just make this go on forever. And after that, after we type what we want, we're gonna put like a wait parentheses. I'll show you what I mean because I wanna add one more thing. So you guys know that like when we add stuff, right? Twenty four. When it reaches twenty four, then that means that it's nighttime. Like it's basically midnight. And like obviously we cannot go like 25 26 27 like if you go to a foreign country that doesn't that uses the military time you don't see the damn clock saying like 27 when you just wake up in the middle of the night it goes back to zero it goes to one two three so you're probably up at like 3 a.m basically or three military time if that's how you say it but yeah you guys could tell that if you look at my task where i live in with 12 hour but anyways we're gonna basically reset the clock when when it reaches 24. So in order to do this, we're going to type if current time is greater than or equal to 24, which pretty much going to reset it. We're going to type then current time equals to zero. So note that zero is basically like midnight. 24 and zero is like the same thing, but nobody says 24 really. They say zero when it starts. So that's basically like 12 a.m. if you guys don't know how to convert. And then now we're going to put we're going to put. After the end over here, we're gonna skip one line and we're gonna type wait parentheses. So this keeps on going forever like a loop. Because this part is over here, and then this it will like keep it make going forever. It will keep adding point one. Now let's play and see how it looks. So we're gonna play here. We're loading in, right? And you see right now it's like 17, I think. And the light should turn on soon when it's 19, I think. I put it. What time is it actually? 21. I mean, I put it on at 21. That's 9 p.m. So you, so we basically start at 19. Like, let's select the lighting and let's look at the clock as it goes by. How about that? So we could see like the effect really happening. So you see right now it's 19 and I'm adding 0.01. It's 20 now and it's really fast. Then you see now it turns bright. And let's have like a small convert to wait for it to turn off. So life in roblox in 2024 i guess we could say it's pretty calm we're in a base plate in 2024 and there's like nothing going on and you see this the moon is going down it's been a while since neil armstrong like gone to the moon i know that was a pretty lame conversation but now at like around eight or nine i think it turns off i forgot like what time i said it as actually no seven i turned it off you guys see that it's no longer neon and the point lights off and let's see yeah we put it at seven over here so 
if times greater than or equal to 7, then it turns off. But if it's less than or equal to 21, which is basically 9 p.m., then it'll turn off too. But like if it doesn't like reach those like minimums, those values, then it'll be neon and true. So that's how you use an if else statement in Roblox. This is like one of the most common ways to use it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.